When ships sail on the open ocean, they are subjected to a large number of forces in all directions, be it wave loads, structural stresses, wind forces, or even turning forces. These vessels must be built to withstand all such loads and stresses. It also leads to ships moving in different degrees of freedom. You must have seen many videos of ships tilting to one side, coming back to center and then tilting to the other side. This happens because of one of the three rotational degrees arising out of ship motions. Rolling, which is longitudinal rotation at x-axis. You can learn more about the ship's degree of freedom in our YouTube video. Also, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future video. Back to the topic. Rolling is indeed the biggest problem among all the other motions in the sea. Technological advancements in the design of the ships have already given us naval architects the advantages to study the wave motion around the hull of the ship and give the best possible design to minimize such effects and ensure a comfortable and safe voyage for the passengers and the crew. Roll motion stabilization can be achieved in conventional ships by changing their hull forms. However, reduction in roll amplitudes are possible by other means as well. A stabilization system can be broadly classified into number one, Passive systems, in which no separate source of power is required and no special control system like the bilge keel, anti-rolling tanks, fixed fins and passive moving weight system. Number 2. Active systems, in which the movement opposing roll is produced by moving masses or control surfaces by means of power like the active fins and anti-rolling tanks, etc. Bilge keels Bilge keels are the most popular and fitted to the great majority of ships. They are plates projecting from the turn of the bilge and extending over the middle half to two-thirds of the ship's length. To avoid the damage, they do not normally protrude beyond the ship's side or keel lines, but they need to penetrate the boundary layer around the hull. They cause a body of water to move with the ship and create turbulence, thus dampening the motion and causing an increase in period and reduction in amplitude. Although relatively small in dimension, they have large levers about the rolling axis and the forces on them produce a large movement opposing the rolling. Their effect is generally enhanced by a head speed. Anti-rolling tanks They are similar to the principle of the passive tank system, but the movement of water is controlled by pumps or by the air pressure above the water surface. The tanks either side of the ship may be connected by a lower limb or two separate tanks can be used. The air duct contains walls operated by a roll sensing device. This concept uses an actual flow pump to force the water in the tank from one side of the ship to the other. The device can be either a simple accelerometer or a complicated gyroscopic sensing system that detects even a small angle of the roll by the gyroscopic precision. Thus, the device can be used to control ship motion due to every single wave. Depending on the sophistication of the system, active tank stabilizers have been found to leave an efficiency of 80% or more in motion stabilization. Active fins With active fins, a sensitive gyro system senses the rolling motion of the ship and sends a signal to the actuating system which in turn causes the fins to move in direction such as to cause forces opposing the roll. The actuating gear is usually electrohydraulic. The fins which may be capable of retraction into the hull are placed about the turn of the bilge in order to secure maximum leverage for the forces acting upon them. A flap from the trailing edge may be used to enhance the lift force generated. The capacity of a fin system is usually expressed in terms of the steady angle of heel it can cause with the ship moving ahead in still water at a given speed. By using active fins, there can be a huge reduction in the rolling compared to ships with no active fins whose rolling angle will be large. The force on a fin varies in proportion to the square of the ship's speed, whereas the GZ curve of the ship is independent of speed. However, a fin system is not likely to be very effective at speeds below about 10 knots. It can be concluded that each and every stabilization system has got its own advantages 
and disadvantages. Therefore, more effort has to be given to the hydrostatics and the hydrodynamics of the ship hull motion through the waves so as to avoid the need for kind of roll stabilization system or to use it to its minimum. If you have any questions or suggestions, please drop your comment below and we will get back to you at the earliest.